4.6b, Translate Percent and Applications, focusing on discount. The discount equation, as we will see many of the percent equations, are very similar. They all define it as part equals percent times the whole. Because a part is defined as some percent of a whole. In this case, the part is going to be our discount. The percent will be our rate or the percent of discount. And the whole will be our original price. We will now see how this is used in example one. Example one asks, a computer that normally costs $549 is on sale at 22% off. What is the new price of the computer? We must first determine what the pieces are that it has given us so far. We see that we have $549 and this it says that this is what it normally costs. This means that this would be our price or our original price. It then says that it is 22% off, which means it is a discount. And finally, it asks what is the new price of the computer? There will be multiple steps to a problem such as this. We first must have to find out how much of a discount we actually received in dollars. So we write out our equation that the part equals percent times whole, or in this count case, our discount equals the percent of discount. Remember, percents must be written over 100 and we will multiply that by our whole or original price, which was $549. Once again, it may be helpful to change your fraction into a decimal so that our discount equals 0.22 times 549. This therefore means that our discount equals $120.78. When dealing with money, you always round to the hundredths or so that you have two place values for cents. In the question, it did not ask us what the discount was. It asked what the new price of the computer would be. To figure this out, we then have to take the original price, which was $549, and then we take our discount, which was $120.78. And if we subtract these two values, we should get the new value of the computer. When we subtract them, we get $428.22. This is the new price. Or the sale price. In example two, it asks a desk that normally sells for $224 is on sale for $188.16. What is the percent discount? We once again have to find all of the pieces. We see that it normally sells for $224. This means this is our original price. Next, we see that it is on sale and its sale price is $188. This is its new price. Finally, it asks, what is the percent discount? This is the percent portion. 
we must first start by finding out how much we actually saved in the discount. To do this, we do somewhat of the opposite of the last step of the last example. So the normally sells is actually our original price. This original price was $224. If we subtract out what the new price was, or $188.16, we can see how much we are actually saving. When we subtract, we see that we are saving $35.84. This is our amount of discount. Since we have now found the discount and we already knew the original price, we can now use our formula, which was part equals percent times whole. Remember the part is the dollar amount of discount or $35.84 equals percent we do not know, so we will place an X. Remember, percent is something over 100. Finally, we have to place the whole or what our original price was. This was $224. We now proceed to solve this problem. As you can see, there is a fraction still here. We must multiply. When we multiply, we get 224x over 100 equals 35.84. Remember, to clear a fraction, you multiply by the least common denominator. The least common denominator in this case is 100. So we will multiply both sides by 100. This will reduce out the denominator of the right side. We will therefore be left with 224x and on the other side 3584 or 3584. We can now divide both sides by 224. we get an answer of x equals 16. Remember that this is a percent as we had divided the number by 100. So we just place the percent in the answer. Remember that when finding discount, you may have to Calculate either the new price or the amount of discount you have received. This will either require an addition problem or a subtraction problem. Also remember that when you are looking for the percent or the rate of discount, that you need to put your x over 100 to account for the percent. Then you must also remember to put a percent in the answer.